Taurus, welcome to Fantasy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at what it is that you need to know. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box of this video. And please keep in mind, not all of these readings are in reference to a lover. This could be in reference to a friend, a family member, or a coworker. Let's get into it. Spirit, please provide me with messages for Taurus. What messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? Please talk to me about messages for Taurus. What do you want Taurus to know? Spirit, what do you want Taurus to know at this time? What needs to be in focus here for Taurus? Tell me more. All right, so you definitely have an admirer here. There's somebody that is watching you leave, all right? So I don't know if you're distant from this person, but I feel like they're after you, they're behind you, okay? You are focused on your work, your money, and this new path, a new direction that you're headed in, I see. But you have this water sign energy that's very focused on you now. For some of you, it's a water sign, and for others of you, it could be any sign, right? However, we do have the King of Cups looking at this Knight of Pentacles, and I feel that your concern has a lot to do with your stability right now. Your mind is on your money, making sure everything is paid. If you're trying to move, then you're trying to do that. If you're looking for a new job, then that's where your focus is. This person is noticing that they are not a priority for you in some way, okay? However, I feel like this energy that's showing up here, they have some sort of third party situation going on or um, they have some things here that I feel you have no interest in for the time being, all right? Um, there's something that you're not willing to tolerate. And so I just feel you going about your way here. Tell me more. Tell me more for Taurus, please. The energy attached to you, whomever this King of Cups or Earth sign, potentially a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius as well, um, unfortunately, they're tied down here, okay? There is a third party situation, something going on with them that makes them feel like they cannot be released for some reason. And therefore, I see them watching you walk away or not give them attention. There's somebody in your life that feels that you are not paying them any mind, that you would rather focus on your coin, your bag, running the money up, buying the new place, getting the new business, pursuing other ventures. They feel like you're not including them for some reason. This person desires to hang out with you, to come together with you, to, to get along, but it's like your back is turned to this person for some reason. Now, I don't know if this is someone that you work with maybe or a family member around you, remember, it's not always the lover, right? I just feel like you have an energy here that wants to collaborate with Taurus, that wants to hang out with you, that wants to come see you. But you're leaving here is what I see. Spirit, where is Taurus going? It's not the easiest thing for you to have to walk away from a particular person here, but you're trying to be strong. It's like, even if you have this toxic friendship that you know has to go, you're gonna do what you gotta do. And sometimes that'll hurt you because it's like, damn, you know, I've known this person for like 10 years or 15 years, but it's time to just cut ties. There could be a friendship that you know is not healthy Someone I feel has become very codependent on you, Taurus, and it's weighing on your energy. 
It's to the point where you're like, I just want to be left alone. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from your energy. There's somebody who is draining you. I feel like this person, they're either always calling you, always texting you, always there's something like that. And it's, you need a break, Taurus. And these people need to understand that. And if they don't understand it, then perhaps they don't belong in your life. Because a real friend or someone who really is listening to your concern about something will understand where you're coming from. You know? Tell me more for Taurus. Talk to me about love. Let's talk about love when it comes to Taurus, please. Talk to me about love for Taurus. I feel here that some of you guys do not want to walk away from somebody, but you have to do it. Like, it's time to go, you know, with this Aries energy here to the Five of Pentacles. It's like you're not going to allow somebody to make you feel like they can't give you enough, you know. It's like you're over a certain person because of their attitude, their behavior, whatever they've done to you has led you to this place of no return. So that's why you're leaving. A lot of you guys are leaving a job, you're leaving a person behind, you are relocating, you're moving, you're on your way to success. And this person can't come. They just can't here. And they're very emotional about you. Even more water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign too. A Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This person very much in their feelings. They could feel like you just want to do things your own way. You're in this mode of, listen, I'm not going to let anybody stop me. That's how you're feeling, Taurus, and I like that energy because you're ready to drop something. You're ready to let it go. It's not serving you. It's not doing you any good. And you're identifying that. You're not blind to whatever this is. And if you have been planning to let something go, right, continue with that planning because this reading, the major emphasis is on dropping something, letting it go. Right? And that could be in reference to anything. For each of you, your story will be different. But some people are trying to stop smoking. Some people are trying to stop drinking. Right? We have others who want to stop a connection, end a friendship, or, um, you know, part ways with a certain part of themselves. Continue with the planning because I definitely see you on your way. Is there new love in the future here for Taurus? Is there new love or is there still a past person? Very nice. So the lover's card coming out here, the potential for new love is absolutely possible or a new experience, a new beginning, all right? Doesn't necessarily have to be a new person. This could be someone that you grew up with, someone that you've known for a while, but you never took it there. The potential is there, okay? We have Gemini energy coming out here. Talk to me about this love experience for Taurus. Tell me more about this experience. The Emperor. And I feel like this person that you're coming into union with, they want you and only you, all right? We're talking about the Emperor here. The Emperor is not promiscuous. 
He wants one woman and that's it. Like he's not jumping around. Could be an Aries for some of you coming in in the future. Or you're probably dealing with someone that has fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more. What's the Ten of Wands all about? I feel like you're ready to go. You want to get things moving with somebody. But keep in mind, for this connection that you're dealing with moving forward, this individual, they come with a lot of baggage, all right? And so you will notice that they are inconsistent in many ways, in various ways, actually, because there's something they're struggling with. And the hermit is coming out here, so they don't even want me to mention that. Like, they don't even want people to know. You feel what I'm saying? And I get that that's something that bothers you about them. But I feel here that the connection is going places. It's real. With the Nine of Pentacles and then the Emperor quality coming out here. For new love or for a new beginning in love, it's looking very nice for you. However, this person, they're battling some inner demons here. Tell me more about this energy that Taurus is associating with in the future. Tell me more about this person. There's a lot going on here around a family situation. I feel like this is someone that works around a lot of people. You know what I mean? There's just... This could be someone who's famous or very popular on social media or something like that. Or they're just a very popular person where they work at. It's like their job is necessary. They're on a public platform. That's just what I feel, you know. Um, however, you have the Nine of Cups coming out here with the Magician. It'll turn out well. You don't have to be nervous about that. Okay, just have faith, pray, and believe. And whatever it is that's toxic that you need to eliminate from your life, continue to work on that plan so that this whole magician, Nine of Cups experience can come to you even quicker, all right? It's like there's some work to be done before you can actually be in this magician type of energy of, okay, I'm ready to start now. You know what I mean? Anything else? The Hierophant coming out here, very nice. Your energy is showing up very powerful here. Now we have you right next to the Magician, right? And so um, the Hierophant is a major manifester and so is the Magician. So you go with this person. Let's be very clear on that. The High Priestess. The high priestess goes with the hierophant that goes with the magician that leads to the nine of cups. Okay. <laughs> so it's not going to be easy though. You know, the person that you're dealing with, a lot, a lot of baggage, a lot of it. But when you love somebody, then you're willing to help with that load. Okay. So, and it won't be as strenuous. Because I feel that, you know, when you have this type of connection with someone, then you're going to share their pain. You know what I mean? It's like you're going to allow to take on that load if you want to. You don't have to. But they're definitely dealing with a lot. We have a queen of swords and a king of swords here. All right, so you have definitely met your match. <laughs> I feel like you and this person are very much alike. I see them reaching out to you, Taurus. I see 
the Ten of Pentacles here for you at the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Pentacles, whatever it is that you work on really will give you the fruit that you're looking for. You're going to find it. It just takes a little bit more planning here. And once you fulfill that plan, you get the Nine of Cups. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. I want to thank you so much for watching. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.